What is up guys, Voltage here, and we are back with some more BGM mode commentary with the New York Islanders. In the last video, we were slumping a little bit, we continued the season simulation, and right when I was about to give up, we got a blockbuster deal that could change the round this season. I'll show you this real quick, just in case you missed. Take a look at our lineup, spot the odd one out. You were right, Jason Spezza there on that second line. We got Jason. We got offered Jason Spezza from the Dallas Stars in exchange for, I think it was Ryan Pulock and a first round pick. I changed it a little bit. I took out the first round pick and I replaced it with uh, Ryan Strom. Because if uh, you look at our center depth, he's like a 21 year old, 77 overall, four star centerman. We already have Tavares, Brock Nelson, who's four star. We have Casey Sezikis. We've got a really young like center depth core and we, won't, we wouldn't really need him. So, uh, Traded him and I think two seconds along with Pulock, so that trade was amazing for us. Upgrade from Franz Nielsen, I think I trade Nielsen for a first round pick. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is unbelievable if you look at our roster over and over. Um, and you could lash me for saying, uh, you could bash me, sorry, for saying that I'm trading away too many of our young players. But honestly, it doesn't really matter because we have a young team. We've got Skinner who's young, Tavares is young, Grabner's young, uh, Brock Nelson, Corey Conacher, Cal Clutterbuck are all young. Sezikis is young. That's our offense. Uh, Franson, Bogosian, uh, Hamannick, and Hickey are all young. And then goalies, uh, Halak is getting up there in age, but that is why I signed uh, Oscar Dansk to potentially take over soon. And I'm very happy with that, honestly. Um, I think that was a very good trade for our team, and hopefully it can turn us around. And um, <clears throat> I'll show you something real quick. So we got... Uh, Oscar Dansk down there in the system. He's going to be our starter of the future. I also drafted, um, he's not there for some reason, but I drafted Nikita Serbryakov, but I'm not, I thought he was going to be a four and a half star goalie. He's only three and a half green star, so that's bad. But you know what? Not a huge deal. Uh, we got William Nylander down there waiting to come up. He's going to be a very good player for us. Um, I'm just happy with our team overall right now, so. There we go. That's our team. We got a whole bunch of depth for the playoffs if we can turn it around. So let's get back into the season simulation. Hopefully Spezza can help us out a little bit. Come on, Jason. <clears throat> you requested a trade out of Ottawa. You went to Dallas, but what a better place to be than uh, Long Island. Let's go. There we go. 4-1 win against the LA Kings. Uh, Jason Spezza maybe made a mark in that game. I'm not sure. Let's see. Carolina Hurricanes. 4-1 win. There we go. Um, we were out of a playoff spot before. I think we're slowly climbing back into one right now. I really hope we make the playoffs. It would be the best thing. Come on against the Tampa Bay Lightning. And we win again. Awesome. Uh, Jason Spetz is leading in assists now, so that's good. Um, Calgary Flames. Uh, got a young team coming up. And we beat them 3-2. Sweet. Uh, Tavares is back there in assists, but I don't really care who leads. I just want us to be a playoff team. Let's go. There we go. 2-1 win. So, uh... Let's go against the Colorado Avalanche. I'm really happy with this Spezza trade. Um, it's just, you know what, we just lost that game. But as you can see, we just went on like a five-game win streak. That's definitely helping us out, having Jason Spezza up there. I'm really happy with this. Uh, Carolina, they're having a bad season. We should be able to beat them. Let's go. Uh, no, frick, Skinner. Got a goal in that game, but we lost 5-3 to them. But not a big deal. It's all right, guys. Uh, as long as you can keep up a win streak and hold together your uh, losses, I think that we can definitely be a playoff team. I don't care if we go in as a wild card spot or if we go in as, like, President's Trophy winner. We won't be President's Trophy, obviously, but um, I just want to get into the playoffs. I don't want to miss the playoffs this year, so there we go. I'll go Connor McDavid. Why not? Um, there we go. You know, there's one thing I'm, that I've been wondering about for a while. Um, it's... Uh, because they don't have the U.S. So, oh, wait, yeah, they do. Never mind. I have no idea what I was just about to say, so don't don't question me, please. So, uh, Jack Eichel is um, going to be up there with Connor McDavid next year. They're probably going to have him in the game. I'm not sure why they didn't do the... Because uh, Jack Eichel was... Um, he was supposed to be uh, like a, in, the, in the game like a while ago. Like he, he was supposed, like he was recognized to be going second overall next to McDavid a while ago, and EA hasn't put him up there, so um, that's something to wonder about. Uh, they'll, uh, they'll obviously have him in uh, NHL 15 because he's like the Seth Jones of 2013 in my eyes. So uh, actually, he's not a defenseman. Never mind. Oh my gosh, I'm really out of it right now. <laughs> Sorry, I just got back from a long weekend. So uh, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to go into trade negotiations. So uh, there we go. Uh, anything happen? Havlat, Green, and a third to uh, Minnesota, and then Nick Ritchie, and whoa, what the heck? What was the deal with this? Nick Ritchie and a first for Havlat Green and a third. Hold on, I'm going to scout that real quick. I'm going to see what their values were. Okay, 
So New Jersey has Richie in the first. Okay, Nick Richie. He's actually got some decent value. He's four and a half star. Okay, yeah, I know I made some edits, but I didn't touch Nick Ritchie. I'm not sure why he's a four and a half star player. He's four and a half star. What's the first like? It doesn't have that much value, but... Okay, wow, they've got four first round picks this year. But seriously, now what were Havlat and um, Andy Green like? Hold on, because they're getting up there in age. I'd imagine their value would be dropping. Uh, Minnesota. Um, yeah, like what the heck? Like they have Havlat... Green, where's Andy Green? Yeah, look at that. The value wasn't even that high. How'd they get a first for? Oh, they probably wanted to give him away, but still, a first and Richie for Havlat and Green. That's a great deal. That's crazy. All right. Um, Hans Benson got went to L.A. Oh my gosh. No way. We went to Dallas. What? Hans Benson. He's like a 50 overall enforcer. That's too funny. Okay. So, oh my god, this is crazy. Cleary and a first from Winnipeg. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this was our trade, right? When we traded uh, friends Nielsen, right? Oh my gosh, that's uh, that was a funny trade. All right, let's go. Uh, <laughs> Hans Benson making a mark. Uh, there we go. Nothing really happening. Uh, Clint Hammer, Eric Cole for uh, Lucas Lessio. That was a pretty good deal. Lucas Lessio for Eric Cole. Not bad. <clears throat> All right, cool. Alish, Alish Kotalik. I remember him. Kotalik. Uh, Hans Benson. I'm definitely claiming Hans Benson. I don't even care. And Rob Klinkhammer, no. Hans Benson. He is a stud. I just want to look at look at him real quick. He's a fourth line forward, and he's 50 overall. That's hilarious. His physical stat is somehow not even that good. He's got 90 body checking, 90 aggressiveness, durability 70, 80 to 89 fighting skills. Just his strength. How is that only two and a half star? That should be like. Like, four star at least. He's got one star potential, too. That's... Okay, Hans Benson. That's so funny. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. Let's just... <laughs> let's continue on the season simulation and hopefully put together some more wins and earn ourselves a spot in the 2015 NHL playoffs. There's another win. I'm a veteran GM now. Sweet. Uh, what should I upgrade? Uh, I'm going to go assistant coach, I think, and then pro scout. There we go. All right. <clears throat> We're back into the season. Uh... Bobrovsky for the Jackets and Halak for the Islanders. Come on, Halak. There we go. 4-1 win. So Spezza's definitely helping out this team, I think. Um, it's making me really happy what he's doing right now and just how our team is doing. Come on, we just got to string together some more wins. There's a loss. Not a big deal. Got to string together some more wins and hopefully, hopefully, we'll get into the playoffs. I think we will, but I'm not going to judge anything too fast. There we go. 2-1 win against the Habs. Now we're against the Leafs. Uh, let's go. 2-1 win against the Leafs. There we go. All right, so we're 35-23-10 now. That's a good record. I'm happy with how we're doing. Uh, just keep going. Let's just finish off the season simulation. There we go. 4-2 two, uh, two win against Buffalo. Oh, oh I, simmed, I didn't sim that far for some reason. All right, let's go up to the end of the season. Uh, Nashville. James Neal making an impact for them. There's a 4-1 win. Uh, Philly. Vorch. Oh, my God. Claude Giroux, 52 assists. That's crazy. Uh, John Tavares only is 37. Not a big deal. It's probably up there in goals. Uh, all right. There's a game against Boston. There we go. 4-2 win. We're on a big winning streak right now. I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen a loss in a while since that game against Pittsburgh. Um, let's go over against the San Jose Sharks now. Let's go... Uh, Okay, nothing. Let's see. There's a f another win right there. We're doing very well. Oh my gosh, we're 40, 23, and 10 now. So that's a huge. That's a really, really good um like improvement from our record. I think it was like 23, 18, and 5 at the start, or something around something along. Oh no, 23, 18, and like 10 because we went on that huge overtime loss streak. Um, all right, let's just real quick. There you go. Six weeks. All right, uh, there we go. Let's just finish off the season. We'll do a little wrap-up once we're finished. And then, oh, wow. Look at that. We were on an eight-game winning streak, and then Montreal, like, shuts us down with a 7-2. Oh, my God. 7-2 loss and a 4 nothing loss. Whatever. It looks like we're going to make the playoffs. Uh, let's just finish off these last couple games, and there we go. All right, so uh, Carolina, they're pretty mediocre this year. Uh, they're a 5 nothing win. Wow. Okay, so uh, now we're against Columbus. Scotty Hartnell. <clears throat> 28 goals for the Columbus Blue Jackets. So, 
I didn't see if that was a win or a loss. I think it was a loss. Okay. Uh, Edmonton Oilers, there's another loss. Not a big deal. Honestly, I think even that if we lose the rest of our games, then we'll still get into the playoffs. So I think we only have like three games left. So let's see if we can win these last three. Come on, Tampa Bay. Uh, no, we lost. Win these last two, maybe? All right. Nope. Uh, come on. At least win the last one. Come on. We're against Buffalo, I think. Yeah, we're against Buffalo. Come on. Win. Let's go. There's a 4 nothing win. Okay, so let's see what our playoff what our playoffs are looking like out of us. Okay, so we're against the Detroit Red Wings in round one of the playoffs. Yes, banner year with the New York Islanders in no small part due to your GM skills. Thank you very much, owner. Uh, let's just check out the stats real quick. We'll wrap up and then we'll, uh, I'll probably have another video up tonight uh, against Detroit. So there we go. Goals four per game. We were 15th in the league. That could be improved a little bit. Maybe I should have traded for a better second liner than Yager, but it's not a big deal. Goals against per game, 7th uh, in the league. So we're stopping pucks, which is good. Uh, power play percentage, 12th. So that's decent. We're in the top 15. Not that bad. Uh, penalty kill percentage, we are 17th. So our penalty kill should be improved. I'm going to make a mental note of that. Fix the penalty kill and... Uh, Maybe fix our offense a little bit if there's a chance, if uh, there's anything I can do. Uh, home record 23, 14, and 4. Away record 21, 14, and 6. There we go. Uh, all right, player stats in the season. Let's see who performed for us and who underperformed. <clears throat> all right, uh, let's see forwards. Okay, John's. Oh my God! Wow, our offense dropped a lot. John Tavares. 67 points only in 82 games, so that's a very bad like downgrade from last year. Spets had 64 points. That's good for the second line. Uh, Kposo should have had a lot more points, 55 points on the first line. Same with Skinner, 62. Uh, Grabner had 47 on the second. That's good. Yager had 33. That should be better. That's like a third line. Uh, Brock Nelson had 31. That's good for the third line. He's in 83 now, so sweet. Um, Kyle Clutterbuck at 24. That's good. Conacher at 20. Could be a little bit better. McClements, Sezikis, each had 17. And then LaRose had 14. So that's good. Uh, defense, Petrie was our highest scoring defenseman. 38 points in 82 games. Bogosian with 34. Franson with 33. Hickey with 21. Greibel with 14. And Hamannick with 13. Goalies, uh, Halak finished with a pretty good uh, stats overall. Same with Martin Jones. So uh, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And we will catch you next time.